The Mail System Pro is a super easy double opt-in lead capture page and autoresponder management system that was created by John Kirk for the Joy to Live members to have some special capture pages that they could use when advertising their Joy to Live. And tonight we're going to show you how to create your account and use the autoresponders for this system. So the first thing that you'll want to do is click on Create Your Free Account. You'll want to put in your first name, your last name, your email address, and your phone number. We do suggest using a Gmail account for this so that you can get your validation really simple. Once you have clicked the Submit button, please go to your email and click the Validation link and then get your password that was generated by the system for you. You will need that password in order to log into this system. When you come back to the Mail System Pro, you click on Account Login and put your email that you used in the top box and the password that the system gave you in the bottom box, and then go ahead and click the Login. By logging in, that will take you to your back office. Now this system is for your Joy to Live business only. If you do try to advertise any other business using the system, John has put a special thing in there. It will catch you. And anybody who violates this and tries to advertise anything but their Joy to Live website, they will be terminated from being able to use the system and their IP will be blocked ter permanently. So please, use this system only for your Joy to Live websites. Okay, the first thing that you need to do when you come in here is to click on the My Profile and change your password to something that you like better. The system has generated you a password that was more difficult. And so go ahead and change your password. And when you click on Update My Profile, it's going to send you an email and you have to verify that you wanted to change your password. Once you verify that you wanted to change your password, go back to the system, re-log in using your, same, your new password. Okay, when you come back in, it's going to send you to the Getting Started page again. You need to follow these five instructions in order to use this system. Let's start with number one. First, you want to go to the Capture Pages button on the left side and click on Capture Pages. Here you can see all the Capture Pages that John has set up that you can use for the Capture Page system. And you're going to want to validate each one of these separately. So to validate them, you go ahead and click where it says click here to edit the URL for this Capture Page and then it will take you to a page. You need to follow it through until you get to the page where it says put in your Joy to Live link. Now you can use your link. You can use a redirect link. You can use somebody in your downline their link, just so long as it goes to your Joy to Live front page. You don't want to send it to any other page except for your Joy to Live front page in the end because then it won't track to your site. So you're going to put in that box http colon slash slash www.joytolive.net slash and your username and then click the bar underneath so that it goes to your page. It is very important that you follow these instructions exactly as, as they're written here. Okay, then go back to your capture pages, and you're going to want to activate all of the capture pages. And because you don't know which one yet that you want to use for your advertising. After you have activated your capture pages, uh, you want to go to the Edit Autoresponders, which is step two. Now, if you go to any of these and it tells you you need to activate your capture page, that means that you didn't finish step one for that capture page. Okay, so if you go to the Edit Autoresponders, which is the next step, 
You will see your choices for the autoresponders. Let's start with the first one, Edit JTL Coffee Capture Page Autoresponder Messages. When you click on that, you will notice that you have 10 buttons here that you need to click. You start with the first one. It is already loaded with an ad that you can use and a subject line. So if you see the top, the subject line says, I look forward to speaking with you. And the email body has a little ad about the coffee. Underneath that, you'll see a little box that says URL. You want to put your joy to live URL in there. Again, that's http colon slash slash www.joytolive.net slash your username. The next thing you want to do is click on the little down arrow next to the send message on day, and you can start it at day one. Day three, day, you know, whatever day you want them to um, get your message, all the way up to day 365. Now, this will send your messages on the day that you tell the system to send it. After you have chosen the day that you want to send it on, you click the Save button. And then you send yourself a test message to make sure that it comes through your email okay. It will take you back to this page. And then you click the exit, which will take you back to the list of autoresponder message pages. Next, go down and click on number two. And you want to do the same thing. You want to check the ad, check the subject line, put in your URL, and decide what day you want to send it on. Again, you will click Save, send yourself a text message, click Exit, and that will take you back to the list. Then you go down and click on number three. Check the subject line, check the email body, put your URL in, put the day that you want it sent, click on Send Text Message, click on Exit, and go to number four. Now, some people, as you go through and do all of these, some people like to send one message a day. Some people like to send a message on the third day, the fifth day, the seventh day. Some people like to send one message a week. Uh, I personally don't uh, suggest waiting any longer from the time they fill out your form to where you start sending them messages than one week. But you can start on the next day after they fill out your lead capture page form and then every second day after that. So by the time you get down to the 10th message, you will actually be 19 days into them seeing a message with every other day, one 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. And that's really, really good spacing for your messages. Some people prefer to send just one a day. We also don't suggest sending more than one a day. Okay, so then you want to go down to the autoresponder message number four. Check the subject line the email body, put in your URL, send this message on the day you choose, click Save, send the text message, click Exit, go to autoresponder message number five, put in your URL, send the message on the day, click Save, Send yourself a text message so that you can check how it looks. Click Exit. Go to the autoresponder message number six. And we're going to do the same thing again. Put your URL on the left side. Send the message. 
on the day of your choosing. Click Save. Send the text message. Click Exit. Go to Autoresponder Message Number 7. Again, we're going to do the same thing. Put your URL on the left side. Send the message on the day. Click Save. Send yourself the test message. And then click Exit. Go to day number 8 and do the exact same thing. Go to day number 9. Put your URL in. Choose the day you want to send it. Click Save. Send yourself a text message, test message. Click Exit. Go to day number 10. Now, on day number 10 is their last message. So whether it's sent on your day 10 or your day 19, every journey starts with a single step is the very last message. You can change any of these messages. At the bottom of each of the messages where it says, Thank you, your Joy to Live sponsor, you can put in, Thank you, your name, your phone number, your email address, whatever you feel comfortable with. But you want to put in the URL on the left side, otherwise your URL is not going to be at the bottom of your message. And send this message on whatever day you want to send it on. Click Save. Send yourself the test message. And click Exit. Now, if you don't like what you saved, you can always go back and edit it. You can sit and write little ads and play with them and work with them just so long as you do not misrepresent the products or the site. And again, you can only advertise your joy to live. It's the only thing you're allowed to advertise here. Okay, another thing that you can do is option number three, and that is go to the campaign section, which you'll, you might want to try after you edit all of your autoresponders. There's a lot of autoresponders in there to edit, and there will be more added as we progress. So you want to check back you know, and, and see if you have any new ones to add uh, because – John might be adding one for each product. You never know what he's going to do. He's made this fabulous system for us. And, and having one for each product would be a phenomenal thing. Okay, so when you click on Campaigns, which is number three, look at the first one. Get a custom campaign URL for the Coffee Capture page. And on this page, you can set up a campaign name so that when you advertise, you know exactly where the leads came from. So let's say that you have a special mailer that you like to advertise in or a special safe list or even Facebook. So your custom campaign title, let's use Facebook as an example. You go ahead and type in Facebook in the box, get your campaign URL, and that's going to show up in red down where it says custom campaign URL. Now, I suggest copying that onto a notepad and saving that on your desktop so that you have it. And remember, when you make these custom campaign titles, they have to be one word titles only. So if you have a site that has a special name for it, um, like let's say you want to name it My Facebook Page, you want to run My Facebook Page all together with no spaces, or the system will not make you a campaign URL that will work correctly. Okay, so after you get your custom campaign URL, and let's use Facebook ag again as an example, you go ahead and you advertise this on Facebook so that when your leads come in, and if you click on leads on the left side, 
it will show you how many visits you've had to your capture page, how many visits you've had or clicks on all of your pages, and your leads will show up in the center. Now, when you deal with your leads in the center, you'll notice that when you get a lead, it'll say the name of the person who filled out the form, their email address, their phone number, the date that the lead came in, the IP address for their computer, the opt-in URL. This is the URL that they clicked on to come to your autoresponder management system. Okay, so if they came through your Facebook, it would say mailsystempro.com, the name of the capture page you used, campaign equals Facebook. So you're going to know exactly where that came from. Then the next thing will be the capture page that they clicked on. And then you'll notice there will be two little buttons to the right. The top one says More Info. The bottom one says Delete. Now, of course, Delete is going to delete that lead. So do not click Delete unless you seriously want to get rid of that from your back office. When you click on the More Info, it will take you to the Lead Details page. Here again, that will give you the name of the person who signed up, the email address, the phone number, the date that they signed up on your capture page, the opt-in URL that they used or the campaign that they used that, that you put out there for them to sign up. And one really cool feature here is the memo box system. So let's say you try and call your lead that came in and they didn't answer the phone, but you left them a message on the machine. You can actually type in here, I left a message for this person on this date, click the Save, and the next time you come back to the Details page, it will remind you that you called this person yesterday or the day before, whatever day you put in there, and that you left them a message so that you don't have to make notes on your own. You don't have to have notes get lost on your desk. Use the memo system. It is phenomenal. So the leads page is where we go to look at all the leads and how many click-throughs and everything that we've gotten. You can set up your campaigns. You can set up your autoresponder messages. You can use the autoresponder messages that are here or you can create your own as long as they go with the product. They have to go with the capture page. So on the coffee capture page, you want to make sure that your messages are about coffee or about making money. And that's pretty much it for the lead capture autoresponder management system. This is the simplest system that I have ever seen. So have fun with it. If you have any difficulties, let us know. Thank you.